Hi guys, I'll be sharing a guide on how to set up Yuzu for Android. Take note, this is GitHub version. So first, open up your browser and search for Yuzu Android GitHub. Then click on the first link or which says releases. Download the latest build, well in my case, build 235. Click on the file with .apk. And wait for it to download. Afterwards, install and accept all the necessary permissions. Open the app. Click Get Started. And grant permissions. For the keys, you need to dump your switch keys and put it in your storage. This is necessary to detect games in your library. Just navigate it in your storage and select it afterwards. Now to add games. Simply navigate to your storage where you put your games and select the folder. And check Deep Scan and click OK. Continue and you are now done with the initial setup. You can change and configure settings by clicking the gear icon on the top left corner of the screen. GPU Driver Manager is important for most of games since this will help with the compatibility. I'll be sharing a link on the description below where you can download Adreno and Turnip drivers. Just download the driver you want to use and open GPU Driver Manager and click Install. Navigate it to where you put the driver and simply click it to install. Now for the Advanced Settings section. You may tweak these settings and play around which best works for you. My device is 8 Plus Gen 1, so if you have the same specs, you may want to be updated since I upload daily tests for Switch games. For now, just use CPU Backend NCE, since it is much faster than JIT. But take note that some are broken in NCE while working with JIT. You can also add another folder for your games if you have another drive or storage with Switch games. Just click Manage Game Folders and click the plus button on the lower right and navigate and select the folder. Now for the Per Game settings. Simply tap and hold the specific game you want to configure separately, and a screen should pop up. You can change GPU drivers, import and export save files, change settings, and install add-ons for your game. You can also change the launch configuration by when clicking Start. Use Global or Custom. Now we boot up a game. On screen, touch controls are automatically displayed, but you may also edit these. Just swipe on the left side of your screen and a tab will open. You can turn off or on your on-screen controls, edit placements, adjust opacity and much more. If you want to monitor your FPS, just turn on FPS counter and you'll see your FPS, CPU backend and GPU used on the upper left of your screen. Yuzu is still on development and more optimized for Snapdragon chipsets. For best performance, recommended device are Snapdragon 845 up but some games also work for lower chipsets, thanks to the devs who work hard every day for optimizations of the app. So, that's it for now. Kindly leave a like, comment down your thoughts, and subscribe if you want to be updated with Switch emulation or anything Android emulation. Thanks for watching. Bit of gaming out.